It is December 1st, I have not vlogged all day. I was at work and then I was at the gym and then I was dropping a dress over to a friend's house and now I'm on a wine run at half nine at night. Still sweaty from the gym. I have not a shower yet because I might be a wino. Okay, welcome to Vlogmas. Okay, so I'm washed and I'm on the couch. There's Alex and Alex is making us watch Lele Toy Show which is a... <clears throat> tradition in Ireland. I think I did a drinking game on it before. Uh, are you going to do your Q&A today or is that in the next episode? Oh, do you want to ask me questions? No, I ask you the questions. Oh yeah, you could do that. Okay. Laura Bracken, how has your week been? Good, and yours? She, she can't answer you. Just hurry up, keep going. Uh, happy Satan 999. What, sorry, happy underscore Satan 999. What is your opinion on koalas? They smell. Laura Bracken again. Are you looking forward to Christmas? Very important. Yes. This, this is a long question from Ashling O'Sullivan. When someone has a different opinion to you on a big issues, uh, i.e. abortion, accepting of LGBTQ community, etc., and you have a debate with them, with that person stroke people, how do you stay calm even though they are totally pushing all your buttons? I have a new thing for this. How do I deal with this really? Will I give the real answer? No, Alex, fuck off. She doesn't stay calm. I do sit, no, I do stay calm. I've started doing like, I've started being like, okay, I totally, I totally get what you're saying. I totally understand. But have you thought about this way? That's kind of what I've started doing. But um, I've also just stopped debating with people. There's a certain point, and if you know you're not going to change somebody's mind, you just, you just stop. There's no point. Um, but yeah, that's my trick. Is I totally understand. I totally get where you're coming from. But have you thought about it this way? And then totally opposite. <laughs> um, and then if that doesn't work, then I give up. Okay, question from Bogota. I'm Irish and I want you to answer. Are you still with Sean? Who's Sean, Claire? Who's Sean? Claire. <laughs> oh. Well. <laughs> I did. Do they mean Sean Connolly? Do they think I used to go out with Sean Connolly? Who's Sean, Claire? You know who Sean Connolly is. I never went out with Sean Connolly. So no, I'm not still with Sean. How does this Bogota character know about this? Hmm? What? Yeah. Okay, Louise Brennan. Are you watching the Late Late Toy Show? Yeah. Yes. Late Late Toy Show scan question mark. I wonder did he mean scam? No. Probably meant scam there. What's what what was your secondary school life like? Grand. I used to that smoke at the gable quite a bit. Dara hashtag. I used to smoke at the gable with um the janitor. I was very good friends with the janitor. And when one of the teachers used to catch us smoking, he used to stand there. We tied it up our sleeves and he'd stand there until it burned us. Because he knew well what we were doing. Very clever. That was clever. I was yeah. also very, very good at English. I was a nerd. Okay. Smoking uh, nerd. Okay. Uh, from fructus scum, some, even. Uh, apple or orange? Orange. From Dr. Phil, PhD in getting excited. Hi Claire, are you still a vegetarian? What's and what's the crack? No, I am not still a vegetarian. I gave that up a long time ago. It lasted about six months and then I gave it up um, because it was too much effort. But also because I wasn't getting them gains in the gym that I wanted. So I went back to eating pure slabs of meat. <laughs> Michael Finnegan, when is your wedding day? It is next summer, Michael. That's all you're uh, getting. Doodle pigs, what part of Ireland are you from? I'm from Carlo, but I've never seen your name before, so I was wondering, could you say it out loud? I know that sounds weird, but... Oh, I get you. I'm from Mayo, and it's Clizair. Uh Do you think Irish people... Do you, oh, sorry. Do you think Irish should be optional subject for secondary schools, or should it be compulsory? Compulsory. Absolutely compulsory. It's our national language. 
teenagers are lazy and they won't do it if they don't have to. Like if you let them give up maths, they give up maths. So I, it, no, it should be compulsory. What, what should be taught make, better though. What do you make of the whole Zuela advent calendar merchandise industry of YouTube, Maria? Um, I see the criticisms that that calendar was ridiculously overpriced. Um, but like, can't hate in a girl for hustling. You know what I mean? Making a living, like hitting that grind but yeah I think her calendar was obviously overpriced it's a weird one isn't it like uh, uh, like endorsing an advent calendar I know she's very Christmassy I uh, yeah I don't see a problem with people merchandising shit like I'm all over David Dobrik's merch love it but yeah that was a bit I wouldn't pay 50 euro for an advent calendar like if you paid me if you gave me the 50 euro to buy it I wouldn't do it uh, what is your favourite thing about the Irish language and why do you love it so much? As a fellow Gael goer and someone who adores the language, I really want to know Gaelga Abu. Cathy Cook. What I like about Irish is the feeling that it gives me when I speak it. So I feel like, I don't know, I feel much more at ease with it and much more... Uh, natural I guess even if I'm struggling to figure out what to say I feel like I stutter a lot less trip over myself a lot less than Irish um, and I love the way it sounds and one of my favorite things about it is the word sketchamini I love that word what is the best thing about and flask love that word as well what is the best thing about Christmas PS L Y L upside down smiley face upside down smiley face what show me that P-S-L-Y-L -L. Oh, I actually don't know what that means. Wow. Um, the best thing about Christmas is... Presents? No, it's the drinks when everyone comes home. And everyone meets up again and has drinks. This is a lovely angle, by the way, the back of your head. This question's mental. Can you put your phone over here so you're not like, just showing yeah, the vlog the back of your head? You're kind of leaning into me. Uh, this question's mental, will I bother reading it? Yes. Well, how mental is it? It's really mental. Let me give you a scenario. Your mom and dad uh, okay. have been taken by kidnappers. The kidnappers force you to kill uh, your mom or your dad. But the only thing is, if you kill your dad, the kidnappers will keep... Oh my God, this is long. Your mom. But if you kill your mom, the kidnappers will keep your dad, which is actually of no use. So would you sacrifice your father to stop... The kidnappers and kill your mother or kill your father and have your mother be owned by the kidnappers oh my god to do whatever they want with her also where is your favorite place to eat <laughs> where you live claire brennan that's the fucking weirdest question i've ever gotten um that's an irrelevant question because my mother's dead and uh my favorite place to eat in dublin is Silvio's. Oh my god. <laughs> is it? Really? No, it's not. It's um the place we had our first date. Cosm Cafe. It, yeah, even though I can't remember what the food tastes like. Just because I wanted to go there for our 10 year anniversary. Because their wine was really nice. I'd really like to be taken there for our 10 year anniversary. Well, maybe you can go <laughs> and with Sean. What do you think about Northern Ireland? Should it stay British or unify with the South? John Griffin. Uh, United Ireland for the win. Okay. Brits when, out. When did Not really. something start? The Brits out part is a joke. The Ar United Ireland isn't. Sorry, sorry continue. You've got to answer quicker. When did something start out badly for you, but, but in the end it was great? The pastel geek. When XL I started going out with Alex. Did you get confused with Sean? I'm never going to fucking end this now. Is Alex the best? He's, uh, he's up there. Oh, there. <laughs> not the best. Sean's probably the best. <laughs> Ooh, Sean. Ooh, Sean. <laughs> How's the Irish book list going? Grand. I've loads of episodes of it shot and not edited at all because I just, I'm so fucking lazy. That's true. Doesn't know what the dishwasher either. Thoughts on FIFA World Cup 2018? I'm interested to hear this. I don't have a single one. Like, not a single 
won. Did like, you are you talking about the game or are you talking about actual football? Are you talking about the computer game or actual? I have no actual idea. Actual real life football. I, okay. Who do you think will win the tournament? Germany. Well, that's a solid call. Uh, when are you getting married and how many and how many people? Typical Irish question, really. XOXO, Sarah Purcell. Gossip girl. Uh, next number and 150. Dear Clazair, I have been genuinely in love with an Irish woman on Instagram for six months now. Should I tell her, tell her, or give up, give it up? I reckon this might be, might be love with you. <laughs> uh, no, like uh, just an Irish woman on Instagram. Like I'd say, like can you imagine the amount of strangers she gets sending her like weird "I love you, I'm really like emotionally invested in your life" messages all the time. Like you're just gonna be seen as another weirdo. So. No, is my answer. How are you from sarcasm? Nice. I'm good. Is he being sarcastic though? I don't know. Hard to tell. <laughs> is Vlogmas coming back? No. Yeah. Not this year. No, I'm not do I'm not doing Vlogmas. I'm one of those vloggers that hates Vlogmas, so I'm just doing like daily videos in December and I'm my very first one is gonna be called I Hate Vlogmas. But it's not Vlogmas. Cause I hate Vlogmas. But I still get the the ad rates okay. in December, and I still do daily videos in December. I just call it something else, what and then shit you, on everyone who does vlog. What do you think the next decade? What do you think the next decade, the twenty twenties, will be like? Will the twenty twenties be much better or boring and depressing like the twenty tens right now? Oh, I just think the twenty tens were boring. Um, I think the twenties will be roaring. Uh, how did you learn Gaelic and do you have any tips for people learning it? I learned it in school and my tip would be don't learn it in school. Use Duolingo or that Rose Etera or whatever. There's a really good app that Sean Connolly is actually using to learn oh, Irish. <laughs> um, I'll put the link down in the description, I can't remember the name of it, I'll text him and ask him. I'm sure you will text him. <laughs> What are the greatest what are the greatest compliments you ever received like the most touching uh, the one you feel most proud of Um I can't think of any right now on the spot Probably one Sean gave you <laughs> The odd time you drop a nice compliment the odd time <laughs> If if you are in a shooting, how would you survive? By not getting shot. That's the most recent question. That's bizarre. And that's it. Yeah, I really wouldn't want to be in a shooting because, honest to God, I think that'd be tough to get out of that one. I would... No, like, serious answer, okay, to that one. If someone starts shooting, like, you get down on the ground, like, and then, like, scuttle away. And get behind a car. Why is it outside? I've thought about this before. But luckily we have gun control here. Ooh, controversial. Just running zigzag lines. Run it. It's not a fucking arrow. <laughs> oh, did you want to answer any of the questions? Will I ask you a few questions? Um, no thanks. Okay. This has been a good first episode of Vlogmas. Hope you liked it. They'll get better. I just didn't do anything interesting today. But that was a good Q&A. 30 questions isn't bad. I'm still like real fucked up about that. Like kill your mother and your father question. <laughs> I answered it very flippantly. But it has really affected me. Alright, we better get back to watching this daily toy show or we'll have no conversation tomorrow. We'll, we won't know what everyone's talking about. They'll be like, do you remember that moment when it all went wrong? And we'll be like, nope. Okay, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. That's day one of Vlogmas done. Okay, it's too hot. Super exciting. Strap yourselves in for an exciting month of content. Hell yeah. That's some good content. That's some good content. That's some that's some fresh content. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye.